If you're watching this video, the M82 is probably standing in your way of diamond snipers. So if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be linked in the description below. The M82 is without a doubt the worst sniper of its class. This weapon comes with the world's slowest ADS speed and a very underwhelming damage output for what's supposed to be a 50 caliber sniper. Like honestly, how do they look at the bullet this thing shoots and think, you know what? This should only hit marker people. All that aside, this weapon isn't as difficult as you think to complete, so let's get into the camos. For the spray camo, you need to get 200 eliminations in multiplayer. 200 seems like a lot, considering this gun is almost too slow and too weak to compete in the normal grinding mode of Nuketown. So what I did was play Combined Arms Assault. In Combined Arms Assault, not only is there way more players than normal, there's a lot longer sight lines that heavily favor using this slow piece of garbage. The maps to look out for in Combined Arms are Crossroads, Armada, and Miami. Yes, I said Miami. Obviously, it's one if not the most hated map in this game so far, right next to Cartel. But in Combined Arms game mode, the added players and the one main objective to fight over really works for this map. Also, I noticed the idle sway of the M82 is especially bad, so I would prioritize using stabilizers like the .50 BMG and the Infantry Stabilizer. Other attachments you should use are barrels that increase your bullet velocity, like the 22.2 inch extended and the 22.6 inch combat recon. Underbarrel attachments are also very important for this weapon because it often takes multiple shots to kill if you're shooting mid torso or lower. Reducing your recoil both horizontal and vertical can help fix this, so the front grip and bipod are what you want to throw on this gun. The rest of the attachments are more for your preference. Use ones more curated to your playstyle and weapon level, so mix and match these until you find a build that suits you. But if you want to use my build, I'll put it on screen for you guys right now. Also, I found something cool that might be able to help you out. This gun can instant kill at close range. What I mean by this is if you shoot and then melee almost within the same frame you can instantly kill an opponent this is very situational and probably won't be used very much but i thought i should share it with you guys difficulty kind of lame for the stripes camo you need to get 50 headshots of multiplayer headshots are a little hard to get with this weapon unless you have some attachments that lessen your idle sway like i mentioned in the previous camo the 0.50 bmg in the infantry stabilizer will help keep your shots steady you can add an optic to increase your zoom making it easier to land headshots but i personally like to stick to the default scope and use those attachment slots on things that'll boost my weapon stats i'm gonna recommend this for every challenge play combined arms assault it'll be a lot easier just try to avoid cartel when looking for games difficulty annoying for the classic camo you need to get five kills without dying 20 times in multiplayer. Kills in general with the 50 cal are on the tougher side to get, so staying alive to get 5 of them takes a little practice. I got most of my 5 kills on Miami combined arms. Just hold the long sight line at the beach and you'll be good. But speaking more generally, to stay alive longer, equip a stim and if you're playing core, put on the armor score streak as well. Once you have those, find a nice area to chill at where you're far enough away from people to use the gun effectively. And before you say, why are you telling people to hard scope camp, you're trash. You gotta realize how ass this gun is and try ADSing with it. You literally have enough time to do your taxes before you're done scoping it. Anyways, after you get a kill, you need to move, even if it's just by a few feet. I found by trying to get this gun done that people will seek you out after you kill them from any kind of sniping spot. So moving even slightly will mess them up. Then just rinse and repeat until you get to five. Both those of five also will count, so keep that in mind. Difficulty? cheeks. For the geometric camo, you need to get 50 long shots of multiplayer. Stop me if you heard this before, but Combined Arms Assault is the best mode for this challenge. The size of the maps are giant compared to regular multiplayer maps. Just try to avoid cartel and post up on a long sight line and you should knock this out easily. Also, this gun doesn't have any attachments that can boost its effective damage range, but I would put on some boosted bullet velocity attachments. Difficulty? Not too bad. For the Flora camo, you need to get 50 kills while holding your breath in multiplayer. This is probably one of the easiest camos in the game. All you gotta do is hold shift if you're on PC, and I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is push down your joystick on console. But I haven't played on a controller in a minute, so if that doesn't work, the button for it should be in your settings. If you're like me, you're already doing this to steady your shots, so this should come passively. Difficulty? Jelking. For the science camo, you need to get 50 one-shot kills in multiplayer. We all know this gun is a hit marker machine, but by the time you have this camo unlocked, you'll have a lot of attachment options as well. Throwing on some attachments that boost your damage and bullet velocity should help, as well as aiming for the upper chest and head. Difficulty? Eh. For the psychedelic camo, you need to get two kills rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. Double kills are kind of a pain in the ass, and they can be done in combined arms, but the easiest way to get them is to either sit in the backyard of this house on Nuketown or this little doorway on the opposite house. Stay here long enough and you'll get some double kills eventually. If Nuketown isn't available, playing Domination should help out. Just try to watch objectives or choke points and you should get some. Difficulty? Garbo. That's all the tips I have for getting the 50 cal gold. If this helped you at all or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, dislike. If you're part of the 70% of viewers that watch my videos and aren't subscribed, help a dude out. We're getting close to 50k, so let's see if we can get there before the year ends. Come on over and watch the grind on Twitch, it's always a good time. All my links will be in the description below if you're interested in more content. And for those of you that watch all the way to the end, leave a heck in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.